Okay, let's do this quick one. I'm actually recording this video because I got a request from one of my subscribers who said he's been having trouble working with the insert header and footer plugin. Okay, so I'm just going to make this video to answer his questions and who knows this video could also be useful to you. Now, you need to understand that insert header and footer has been updated and when the updates was made, the name changed. And right now, it's no longer called insert header and footer, rather it's called WP code. Okay? So, uh, basically the way it works is no different from what it used to be before, but then a little change happened on the interface. So let's just go ahead and see what that is. Okay, so right now this is a demo account, so I'm going to be installing my plugin afresh, so I'm going to come to add new. Okay, here I'm going to search for insert header and footer, even though I told you that the name has changed. But let's just see and footer. Okay, so as you can see here, that what we have here is no longer insert header and footer. This was the insert header and footer that everybody knew about. But right now it's been changed to WP code. Alright, so as you can see, 1 million plus active installations telling us that it's about the most used plugin on WordPress repository so I'm going to install and then I activate okay so now my new plugin has been activated so all I need to do is to come to the menu bar here and look for the insert header and footer before now you will always find it in your settings tab okay as as one of the options here but right now it's no longer there so where you're going to see it is the code snippet like we have here okay so as you can see we have code snippet all right so if you click on the code snippet you might be confused by what you're going to see okay before now um, this is not the interface that you get to see okay but right now um, what you want to do is if you want to install any code either on your header, on the body, or on the footer, all you need to do is to come to this code snippet and once you click on it, you will see the options that are dropping below. Okay, so you can see here, add snippet, header and footer, library, generator, tools and settings. So what we want to do here is the header and footer link because this is by far the most used link on this particular plugin. So I'm going to click on that. Alright, so I'm very sure that at this point you are familiar with what we have in our inserted and footer plugin. So you can see here that we have the header section where you can always um, paste your code. Okay, if you scroll down, you see the body where you can paste your code. Alright, and if you sc scroll further down, you're going to see the footer. And once you're done with that, you can always click your save changes here and it works just like it used to be before the only thing now is that we have more options that came with the new update and uh, i'm not going to be talking about them right now because um the purpose of this video is just to show one of my subscribers who needed to know where the header and the footer section of the code snippet or the inserted and footer plugin which is now the um wp code is being found and that is what i tried to answer in this video okay so if you want tips like this on wordpress you can always subscribe to this channel um i do things like this all the time people get to me uh they they drop comments in the comment sections asking questions and uh, as quickly as i can i always try to answer them and sometimes if such questions need videos like this i quickly do them just to satisfy you so thank you very much please like this video and once again, subscribe and turn on the notification option so that anytime I release short and important, easy videos like this for WordPress users, you will get, be the first to see. Thank you and see you in my next video.